Okay, guys, one small one. Small, small. Ooh. Loads of hidden cash. Drugs. In our ports, I was in some of the more airports. The UK border agency is fighting a constant battle against smugglers. I don't even see this one before. Coming up. In Bristol, that Poland is big. Being careless oh, shoot up, it's something we haven't seen before. I need my phone. In Birmingham, a Chinese man carrying 3,000 pounds seems to be lying about his wages. Every week you get 200. Every week 200. That's only 100 a month. And in Gatwick, one couple's Jamaican holiday. So one more. On a high. One more. It's very, very hot. We need to look at this a bit more, I think. Don't, Easy the jet. Canary Islands are outside of the EU for tax purposes, and there are tight restrictions on duty-free goods coming into the country. Officers are using X-ray machines Ooh. to find any bags that He's have been a these limits. Three suitcases appear to be full of cigarettes, so officers wait in the baggage hall to see if the owners will declare the goods. Uh, we're going to have a CFI flight, uh, which is non-EU. So there is an allowance: 200 cigarettes, 250 grams of tobacco uh, per, per adult, and uh, we'll see if uh, anything transpires. Officers believe that the cigarettes they found are likely to be sold get illegally. They suspect the people carrying them may not be the only ones involved. Oh, you take them, huh? So instead of pulling them over, they'll be followed. We're gonna follow them. Two women appear with the suspect cases, and, as anticipated, they walk straight through the Nothing to Declare channel. Yeah. Officers Hello. follow close behind, and once outside, the women are joined by a male accomplice. As the passengers load their bags into a waiting car, officers run to intercept them. What's up? You feeling good? Yeah. I'm, I'm a little hungry though. Me too. Want some food or what? Uh, yeah. Yep. A quick look in the first case shows it's full of cigarettes. Hey, car keys? Sorry? Keys? Yeah. Thank you. And as the other two cases are open, is real. they too are stuffed to the brim with cigarettes. I'm not At the moment, man. these cigarettes are all seized, all right? You understand that? Confiscated? Okay. At the moment, yeah. this vehicle yeah. is also seized. We keep the vehicle. Do you understand that? Uh, why? Because why? the cigarettes were in the vehicle. So bad! I need my car. Okay, well, we, you have to sort that out later. But at the moment, it's seized, right? I'm only driver. These people rent on me. I need my car. What we are saying is, you've used this vehicle to transport the goods. We saw them in the vehicle, yeah, I, and I that's why it's seized. What's, what's inside the bag? Okay. What's inside? Yeah. Okay. We have cigarettes in your bag. Yeah, Wait. They don't they they walk. Right, the they go to the car. Seized, now they, they seize the, the car. The suspected smuggling ring. That is a fucked up, dude. At Gatwick Airport, that is that is that is London. Okay, that's a long blow. Officers use sniffer dogs to find traces of drugs being imported illegally <laughs> from countries with strong links to the drugs trade. If the dog makes a positive indication, passengers are pulled aside in the customs channels so they can be searched further. The dog is amazing. Clutch is a young male who's returning from a holiday with his girlfriend. Why isn't there a smelling machine that you don't doesn't need a dog? It's just it's a smelling machine. We ask you to carry any goods for a dog. Okay. You have food in your bag. No, I have this in my bag. Sorry? I have this in my bag here. There's nothing in it, I just have parts. The man produces a small cannabis pipe. An officer suspects he's a drug user. In 
The passengers open up about the drugs they've encountered, but their suitcase is swabbed for any traces. Despite proclaiming their okay. innocence, I'm the final. The results from the drug swab test are alarmingly high. Way. It's very, very high. We need to, we need to look at this a bit more, I think. It's starting to get a little. Uh... That's the one that the dog showed interest in as well. Uh oh. Yeah. Just do another one in the. Uh... In another area in the same sort of bag. In the same bag? Yeah, yeah. So it's just... showing a very high reading for drugs at the moment. Have, have you? No, okay, I'm not, I'm not saying you have. Okay, but have you been smoking anything? Or It's probably best to declare at this moment. It makes do when I'm back at home, but I don't. You don't personally? No, I don't. Okay. Sure, dude. No, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you a lot. The bag is swabbed again in a different place to see if the readings are consistently high. This machine this is broken. There's a small trace reading for cocaine and heroin. Oh, he's good then. Have you been through the bag or two? I've, uh, basic, so I haven't gone through every single item, as in really scrutinised it. Yeah, I'll take him in for a rub down see how you go. Officers yeah. decide to take their search to the next level. Nah, he's good. He doesn't have anything. I don't think. On his body. That's, that's my guess, sir. He has nothing. I'm watching Back that. Bristol, officers are busy emptying three suitcases filled entirely with cigarettes smuggled into the What UK is wrong with you? What the, the fuck is wrong with you? And the vehicle being used to carry the cigarettes are being seized. The driver, who claims he's just collecting his friends and knows nothing of the suspected cigarettes. Calvin Klein cigarettes is taken into a private room for questioning. So who are these for? This is mine. For you? You smoke all of it? Yes, I smoke. Your friends smoke? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? But officers don't believe that this many cigarettes are for personal consumption only. Yeah, I'm confused. If all they get is their things seized and they're free to go with no charges, and it's it's so um, inexpensive to buy and such a good price to resell, and what's the other always trying? Keep trying every time. Try, 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 try. Yeah, but did you buy it? No, I didn't buy it. You bought it. It's what they do it then. Okay, did you go, did you, did you go just to buy cigarettes? No, 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 no. No? It's only day For one day? Two days. Two days. Two days. One night, yeah? The one gentleman in, with the red jacket. Wait, one night? The man in, in this uh, organization. No shot. Self report? Where is she buying? When? You don't know who she's buying them for? No? All of the passengers' stories seem to contradict each other. He knew there was facts in those cases because when we went out and he got yeah. to us following him, he separated us to say, Whoa, settle there. down, settle down. Outside of the that ward is for uh, it's for uh, a, to bring back a cylindrical of just 200 cigarettes. Cigarettes are gone, okay? Seized. You take it then. Yeah, you are over your allowance, you're not oh, allowed okay. any of them. Mm -hmm. No. This tells you how you can appeal, but it's up to you whether you... I'm not reading it. You're not reading it? No? No. Well, that's up to you. The man's reluctance to read the appeal procedure reinforces officers' suspicions you read it, that the cigarettes were intended to be sold. Both men leave their supposed friends behind. They'll have to find an alternative way home, since their car remains seized. Oh, From this okay. particular time, the action is just limited to seizure. Um, but if they're caught repeatedly, it might be a bit more serious next time. Yeah, I'm sure. The female passengers also leave the airport empty-handed. Free the car? The haul of 37,000 cigarettes will be sent for incineration. Oh, yeah, incineration. Sure did. Back in Gatwick, officers investigating a male passenger whose suitcase has given a high reading for cocaine are about to take him. I have your best chat. Is this guy chill or not? 
Okay, basically, as you can see, the. I, 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 yeah, I okay. Just, just, yeah, just, just need to see it's just shown. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. can see everything's being done above board. Basically, like I said, he's changed the signs of drugs, but it doesn't mean to say you've, you've got yeah. it. It's a very, very sensitive swap. Yeah. Okay. The dog has also shown an indication in you. Right. Okay. So what we want to do now is to bring you in for a search. Okay. Yeah, right. so, yeah, no, yeah. Well, which we have to yeah, yeah, carry fine, on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The man is led to a private room where he admits he's been stopped before. I got stopped on the way um, out as well. He, he just well, he, he stopped me for ten minutes. Spoke to me. That was it. Despite a thorough search, he's not found to be yeah, carrying yeah. any drugs. So officers try another check on his shoes. Meanwhile, the man's partner continues talking to officers and confesses that her boyfriend has been known to use drugs in the past. Oh, come on! But no further traces of drugs are found from the shoes, and officers are happy he's not a smuggler. Right, that's OK, yeah. OK. OK, do you like to say it's all, all done like no, that? No, I bought it. It's have you, just for, uh, for, for my benefit, what you do is entirely up to well, you, I've, but I've have, you, 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 have you done a bit no, of gear, a bit of Charlie, anything like that? No, I can't. No, I've just had a medical about three months ago. Right. Back, so I can't. Right, OK. He was rubbed down huh? and searched. There was nothing on him of customs interest. I told you guys, he was chilling. Drugs on his body or anything like that. He said he recently had a medical, which he said he doesn't use drugs at all. So from our point of view, we're quite happy for him to proceed. You can tell him when the children are. The man's bag are put down to contamination, and the couple are free to leave. Coming up, one couple's behaviour leaves unanswered questions. I was actually very, very nervous. There was a change in the booking of the tickets. He was unemployed. How did he fall the holiday like that? Coming up, one man in Birmingham with lots of cash is suspected of lying about Hey, spoiler alert, man. Thank you. At the immigration desk, the woman in white... Not doing what happened, but watch it. ...sunglasses for passport verification. Her partner in the red shirt at the desk next to her is allowed to proceed. Eventually, she is allowed down. through. The funny special one. But Officer Chris has reasons to doubt they're legitimate travellers. The fact they changed their date of return uh, to come back by a week. Five stones, very nice. To us, they look quite nervous. Down at immigration, acting very sort of uh, strange. They sort of try going the wrong exit. The couple separate as they exit the baggage reclaim area. Typical behaviour of passengers with something to hide. Two of you together. I don't know, hide there. Uh, can I get your passports and tickets? How long have you been out there for? Oh, 79 days. Okay. Holiday? Okay. Well, back to work tomorrow now, is it, or what? I wish. No, got maybe Well, what happened? Okay. What was you doing? Uh, building supplies. Okay, and how about you? Um, I'm just, um, stay at home. A holiday in the Caribbean is an expensive outlay for a couple who aren't working. Suspicion Wait. grows. Hold up, hold up. Breaking news, Dr. Suspect says he knows the reason for his Twitch ban and is planning to sue Twitch over it. But they could be hiding the real reason for that trip. Alright, you pack your own bags? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nobody's given you anything to bring back at all, have they? Okay, let's have a quick look at your bags anyway. But it seems the man doesn't want his case to be searched. For real? I've got the key in that one, of course. Oh, right, how come you've got the key? <laughs> If Where the are the drugs? Found, by the time the other suitcase has been searched, the padlock will be forcibly removed. Not that good. A small trace of cocaine is detected from the first suitcase. So Officer Pete decides to remove the padlock from the other one. Wait, how did it happen? Wait. Surprisingly, it's almost empty. I just got to x-ray this bag, OK? It just looks nervous. This is so light. They're acting so nervous. The bag is checked for any hidden concealments. The lever's for some blue. I'm singing, does it? No blue. The bag, the things like they didn't have the lock for the padlock was a bit unusual. 
Um, the fact where they've come from as well just gives us grounds to, to go to the next sort of level of the search. No blue. With no concrete evidence found on the couple so far, for now, their story remains a mystery. At Birmingham Airport, a number of flights are about to Matt, it's when it, destinations are It's when normally it's flat, but then it's kind of like not flat because it's too dense. There's like, there's, the there's more depth. But when you look at it, it, it the there's no depth. But in the x-ray, there's depth. And they they know for a fact it, that there's juice in between the layers. The country, it's too dense. Declare any quantity of cash over 10,000 euros. Did and officers are interested in questioning passengers carrying anything over 1,000 euros. Large quantities of cash leaving the country is often linked to organized crime. Wait, really? So sniffer dogs are deployed to make initial detections on passengers. How long are you going to China for? They uh, smell the ink. About a week. About a week. One passenger traveling to China has been pulled over for questioning after confessing to carrying a few thousand pounds. It's just a pleasure trip, it's not a business trip. Sorry? It's not a business trip, it's just pleasure. It's just pleasure? Why are you taking three hours to come and see us? Just pleasure. It's just pleasure. Why are you taking three hours to come and see us? Just pleasure. Why are you taking three hours Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but you okay. How much money have you put in the suitcases on the airplane? Uh, I think it's a few hundred. A few hundred, yes. okay. With more cash in his checked in suitcase, the officer asks to have this removed from the flight mm -hmm. so it can also be checked. I need the bags off for this guy. So, how much do you earn a month? How much a month? Yeah. Uh, let me check it out. Wasn't the weird bag like that? 2000 exactly. 2000 exactly. About 2500. Also, I ran the business for somebody. So you rent a business for somebody? So you have an additional income that way? Yes. I thought Wait, isn't the max yeah. like 10k? Uh, we're asking 10K? You specifically about your rental income. Rental income? Yeah, you said you had rental income as well. I can't say exactly because I got the account. So if you're providing the account and the figures, you would know how much you were earning? Every month, every month, every month I, I got... 200. You get two, um, 200. Yeah, I thought you said two, 2,500. Uh, every week, sorry. Uh, sorry every week you get 200. Every week, 200. Right, that's only 800 a month. The man seems to be confused about his finances. Just stay with your money just now, sir. Is that a crime, though? Calls and check something. I'll be right back to you, okay? Just watch your money. The officer suspects that deliberately or otherwise he may not be paying his taxes. Wait, what? Back at Gatwick. Officers Dude, it's are continuing 2K. to investigate a couple who've been acting nervously since arriving back. That's a stretch and a half, obviously, one. How did you finance the trip? Hard saving. This remains doubtful given neither of the couple currently work. This is our reward for putting through this year. Right, okay. The questioning starts right. to make the man defensive. This is like an old car center. Yeah, it's an expensive trip um, for somebody who's who's not working okay uh, unfortunately I understand that but it's not just here the couple have aroused suspicion all right Dude, you're, you're crazy! Oh, I'm hey, afraid. Hey, beans. Well, um, I you can't them in. Shut up and chat. Shut up and chat. Anyway. Yeah, don't let anything happen for them. Now we're going to go to the search of person. If we don't find anything in there, we find sort of additional factors from the search. We'll think again about what we're going to do. Guys, no drugs. Come Both on, man. Passengers are taken to separate rooms and searched individually to see if they're carrying any drugs on their but, bodies. At least give us one episode of drugs. I'm just trying to see if there's any traces in the shoes to establish if she's a swimmer. If passengers are carrying drugs internally, traces are often excreted through the sweat glands in feet. The woman's shoes come back clear. With no hard sorry. evidence found, I'm sorry. Her, she's released to establish the outcome what? of her partner. Who's going to pat you down, basically? I see this holding feet there as well. I think we're just about done. Yeah, they're all good. Everybody's good. Surprisingly, getting. nothing is found on the male passenger. Either. Oh, everybody's good then. This is always the whatever. Behavior and very unusual story. The couple are free to go. They're actually very, very nervous. So we're marching up and down the front and centre. Fuck all this, man. There was a change in the booking of the tickets. 
He was unemployed. How do you afford a holiday like that? No, no, nothing. No. Yeah, yeah. Have this thing in the bag, does it belong to you? Yeah. Are you canning anything for anybody else to do? I know. No. More checks are conducted to confirm how much income tax the man has paid. I like when they find drugs. It's, 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 it's interesting. It. I've only got to check what his earnings are, okay? Uh-huh. With just minutes before the man's flight is due to depart, Officers will have to make a very quick decision about whether to let the man leave the country with his cash. You told me you were a director of a limited company? Yeah, two yeah. Two yeah. yeah. And you, you say you earn 2,500 roughly a month? Pay that, you let you six pounds. Once again, the officer works out the passenger's outgoings. They don't seem to tally with what he's declared to the tax office. We, we've got you, you declared your total income of 16,334. 16,000? 16, yeah. Now, if you're saying you only earn £16,000 a year, you told me you get paid at least £800 a month from the other restaurant, OK? So that's going to take you right up to 22 grand right away. It seems there's a big discrepancy with the man's finances. If he's to catch his flight, there's no time to argue. Yeah, mate, what's going on with this? Uh, we need to make a decision ASAP. Stand by. The man gets a lucky escape. What I'm going to do just now, sir, is I'm going to let you travel today because your flight's leaving yeah, yeah, imminently know, yeah. and I don't have time to do the additional checks I need to do. So I'm going to let you fly today, but I'm going to put a hey, pair on the tax bitch. office because I believe later. you're not declaring the income. Put your stuff okay. back in the case and fly today, sir. Right, okay? okay. And and that, that's it finished today, okay? Thank you. No problem. Wait. The man is fortunate to be Can't allowed you to make more money cash, one year compared to the other year? Are you not allowed to make more money? Is this a crime? The group of suspected cigarette smugglers in Bristol were required to pay the unpaid duty on their 37,000 cigarettes. Guys, 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 the scenario was that the last year he made 16k that he reported the taxes, and now with his with this revenue he's making like a like a certain amount that's like a, a higher, but it's like, dude, so.